Hey guys, Bike 19. Not in the basement, here at work. Kind of bored to death because there's nobody here to shop for. So I figured I'd go ahead and tell you a little bit about a movie that I got to see a couple of days ago while here doing nothing again. Uh, a little horror film called Salvage. Now, this particular film uh, is seen on YouTube. This is about the only way that I could find it. Uh, shot in 2006. Um, well, let me take that back. Made in 2006. Shot in 1985 on an iPhone 4. And uh, acted as if it was uh, done somewhere in 1976. Uh, now that we got the bad stuff out of the way, let's talk about the film itself. See that young lady right there? She is about to be unalived. And it's going to be pretty ugly and pretty nasty. But that's not the only time that she gets done. So the way that it works out is this. Here's the basic premise of the story. The young lady here goes and wakes up from her third shift at the gas station. She gets up, gets dressed, goes outside, and gets ready to be picked up by her boyfriend. The boyfriend's truck shows up, but not the boyfriend. It's uh, some other guy. Turns out that uh, while she blindly trusts him uh, to take her home and then proceeds to brutally on her liver. You don't get to see much of it in the first take, but that's where it gets good. Because as soon as the screaming stops, the eyes open. She's back at the gas station doing her, the end of her third shift yet again. We're looking at a Groundhog Day, happy, happy death day to me type vibe. Um, this goes on for a little bit. And while it doesn't have the repeated number of unalivings in different various ways, uh, like Happy Death Day, there, there's just a couple. One of them, however, goes through the moment of face off, as it were. Uh, and it's pretty disturbing, to say the least. Her screams are absolutely palpable and uh, very convincing, though not much else is actually done as far as the acting goes. However, the way the whole thing is put together, the twist at the end makes you go, well, I did not see that shit coming. And that's what makes this movie actually relatively good. The way that it is put together gives you lots of clues and hints throughout the entire uh, entirety runtime of the film. And it's because of that, you think you know one way of, of uh, finalizing the film but you don't and that's what makes that a pretty darn good uh film in my eyes so with that i would give this film a solid three out of five mostly i would give it a three and a half but unfortunately when you shoot with an iphone 4 uh based out of 1985 to release it in 2006 it becomes a problem also a lot of the acting in some instances was a little bit shoddy as well including the killer uh and i won't go no further from that Anyway, this is Bike 19, here at work, not in the basement, telling you guys, I'll see you next time. Oh, also real quick before I forget, Chuck, you're still my movie guy. You're the guy that recommended this. Go check him out. He actually does some solid reviews about some really messed up movies. I won't go to the other word, but I will say this. The fire button, it's gone. Good show.